Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to easily install Google Play on your Amazon Fire 7, your Fire 8, or your Fire 10 tablet. All three of these tablets have been on sale for Black Friday. They're still on sale on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm sure they're going to be on sale for a few more days, at least for Cyber Monday. So this method does not require root. We will have to download four APKs and I'm going to leave them in the description. They need to be installed in order. So they're going to be listed one, two, three, and four. So the first thing we need to do is open up settings because we need to turn on apps from unknown sources. From settings, we'll go to security and we're just going to turn on apps from unknown sources. You can read through this if you'd like. Click OK and we'll back out to the menu. Now, like I mentioned, in the description are all the links for each of these APKs. You need to install them in order. And there is a little trick to getting the install button working. We'll have to turn the screen off and then turn it back on. I'll show you how to do that. If you're watching this video on your tablet, you should be able to copy and paste each of these links into your Silk browser. Or if you click on them, it should automatically open up the Silk browser. But I already have the link set up inside of my browser. First thing we're gonna need is Google Account Manager. The very bottom here it says download APK. We're gonna click on that and it'll start the download. It'll open up the download page and you should get a little warning at the bottom asking you if you really wanna download this APK. Now these are from APK Mirror and they monitor everything that's on their site. So it's pretty safe. We can click open. And as you can see, the install button is grayed out at the very bottom right hand. You can't click on it yet, but if we press the power button, it'll turn the screen off on the tablet itself. We're gonna press the power button again to wake it up, swipe up, and now your install button should work. We're just gonna click install, and it'll start the install process of the very first APK we needed. We're gonna click done. Now we're gonna go to the next link, and we're gonna download this one, same exact way. Go to download APK, it'll open up the window, give us a little warning, click okay, It'll verify we're downloading and we can click open from here. We're gonna do the same thing. Press the power button real quick because the install is grayed out. Turn it back on, swipe up, and we can install now. So that was Google Services Framework. We still have two more to install, so we'll go to the next link. This is Google Play Services. Same exact thing, download APK, We'll get the confirmation. Do you want to download? Click OK. Now this one will take a little longer to download. And if you happen to pass up the open button that pops up, you can always slide down from the top and use this install link right there. So we'll just click install from the top here and it'll do the same thing. So the install button is still grayed out. Press your power button, turn it back on, swipe up. Installs there and we're gonna install this one. Now we only have one more APK to install and that's gonna be Google Play itself. So we'll use that last link, this is number four. We're gonna do the same exact thing here. Click download APK, wait for the prompt, click okay, let it finish, click open. We're gonna to have to turn the screen off again because the install button is still grayed out. Back on, swipe up, Install Google Play. So when this is finished installing, click done. We can go back to the main menu and we now need to power the device off and then turn it back on. So you just hold your power button, click OK here. When it's done shutting down, we'll turn it back on and we'll have Google Play installed, ready to go. All right, I'm powered back on. We'll scroll down to the bottom. As you can see, we have the Play Store installed. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. It's gonna check our information. Then we're gonna to have to sign in just like we're setting up a new Android phone. I'm gonna skip this part. After you're done signing in, putting in your password, you now have Google Play installed on your Amazon Fire 7, your Amazon Fire 8, or your Amazon Fire 10 tablet. You can go ahead and start downloading your favorite Android apps here. So you might notice that Google Play will stop working when you're trying to install an app. It'll probably be like the second app you're trying to install. That's because Google Play is updating. Just give it a little while. You'll see a new icon on screen because we installed an older version of Google Play and it will need to update. I'm gonna search for something, probably Minecraft. I'm gonna go ahead and install that real quick. 
So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. I'm also going to leave links to Amazon down below to where you can buy the Amazon Fire 7, 8, or 10. I did pick up the 10 because it does have a better processor in it, and it was only 99 bucks. If this helped you out, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.